वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी कंप्लीटेड प्रैक्टिस सेट 2.3 बिफोर गोइंग टू प्रैक्टिस सेट 2.4 टुडे वी हैव टू लर्न सम बेसिक कांसेप्ट्स टुडे वी हैव टू लर्न बाइनोमियल क्वाड्रेटिक सर्ट्स एंड व्हाट इज द एब्सोल्यूट वैल्यू एंड डिपेंडिंग अपॉन दैट वी हैव टू सॉल्व द प्रैक्टिस now see dear student all of you know the sums suppose i write here root 25 now can anyone tell me this is a sums or not here order is 2 radicand is 25 but the square root of 25 is not a irrational number therefore it is not a sums but if i write like this then it is a sums now all of you understood about what is sums see here i write another sums that is root 5 here order is 2 in the first lecture i told you that this year we have to learn only the quadratic sums that means order always will be a 2 remaining that is cubic sums and more we have to learn in next years now here i write root 2 and root 5 these are the two sums suppose i write here root 3 and root 6 here or i write here 2 root 6 and here it is root 5 now these are the some examples of the sums and suppose i write here plus sign between these two quadratic sums then suppose i write here minus sign suppose i write here plus sign that means these two sums i join with plus sign these two sums i join with minus sign and here i join this with plus sign then this is known as a binomial sums dear student these two sums i joined with this plus sign this plus and here it is minus all these are now known as a binomial sums by means two here these two sums are there and they are joined with plus or minus sign then they are called as a binomial quadratic sums by means to here two sums are there here order is 2 here order is 2 therefore it is called as a binomial quadratic sums here also i write suppose root 2 plus 3 this is also binomial quadratic sums or i write here 3 plus root 5 or 3 minus root 5 these are the examples of binomial quadratic sums now everyone come to know that the sums joined with plus or minus sign then they are called as a binomial quadratic sums now dear student see we have to see here i write here 3 plus root 5 or i can write here root 3 plus root 5 and here i write root 3 minus root 5 now dear student what is the difference between these two binomial sums in these two binomial sums only the difference between the sign here they are joined with plus sign and here they are joined with the minus sign then these two binomial quadratic sums are called as a conjugate pair of each other they are called as a conjugate pair of each other now what we have to do suppose i want to write the conjugate pair of this sums binomial quadratic sums i just i have to change here root 2 this plus sign i want to change it is minus and root 5 this two this one and this one these are called as a conjugate pair of each other now why they are called as a conjugate pair of each other and how can we say that they are conjugate pair suppose i write here root 2 plus root 5 now what is the conjugate pair of this conjugate pair of this 
is a root 2 minus root 5 just we have to change the sign and I want to multiply this that means I find out the I want to find out the product of this see here this is a one binomial quadratic set this is another binomial quadratic set they are called as a conjugate pair of each other and in this case why they are called as a conjugate pair for that purpose just I want to do the multiplication of these two sets now if I multiply this when we have to multiply this here we can do the direct multiplication of two brackets the in that case we have to multiply this root 2 with this whole bracket and multiply this root 5 with whole this bracket or we can use one formula all of you know that a square minus b square that means suppose here it is i write a plus b and here i write a minus b and if i do the multiplication of this then i write directly a square minus b square this is the expansion formula you are aware about this formula therefore i directly apply this formula here here root 2 plus root 5 and here it is root 2 minus root 5 that means here a plus b here we can write a plus b and here a minus b then we write a square minus b square same formula we can apply then what is a here a as a root 2 therefore i write a that means root 2 square minus b is a root 5 therefore root 5 square now square of root 2 i have already explained you about this that is root 2 bracket square is equal to root 2 into root 2 it is root 4 and the answer is a 2 same way we can write it another way also see here root 2 square means it is root 2 if i have to write it in an index form that will be 1 upon 2 and then we have to make the square then it is 2 into 1 upon 2 into 2 this root 2 uh, this 2 to get cancelled it is 2 like this we can find out the answer that means square root square root square of root 2 is equal to 2 similarly square of root 5 is a 5 therefore 2 minus 5 it will be a minus 3 and dear student we get the answer as a rational number real number that is minus 3 is a rational number and therefore what i want to tell you that here root 2 plus root 5 is a binomial quadratic set this is also binomial quadratic set and these are called as a conjugate pair why it is called as a conjugate pair because if i multiply this or product of these two is a rational number got it therefore first of all suppose i write here root a plus root b then these two sets are joined with plus sign therefore these two quadratic sets are joined with plus sign then it is called as a binomial quadratic sets if i change the sign root a minus root b then these are called as a conjugate pair of a binomial quadratic sets and when we do the product or the product of these two conjugate pair of a binomial quadratic set is a rational number but it that means when we have to find out the rational number suppose root 2 plus root 5 we have to multiply this with root 2 minus root 5 then definitely we will get the answer as a rational number therefore these are called as a conjugate pair of each other suppose I write here root 2 minus root 3 can anyone tell me the conjugate pair of this the conjugate pair of this will be we have to change the sign it is root 2 plus uh, root 3 got it or we can write here root 3 plus root 2 this is also conjugate pair of this it doesn't make any difference we have to change the sign therefore and one more thing that if we do the multiplication of these two the multiplication of the final answer or the product of conjugate pair is a rational number dear student by using this property that means if we multiply the binomial quadratic sets the product is a rational number by using that property we can <coughs> solve the sums when suppose in the previous lecture we 
learn about the see here it is 1 upon root 5 here root 5 is a denominator and 1 is a 1 is a numerator and root 5 is a denominator and root 5 is a search but which is it is a irrational number and this denominator if we have to convert into the rational number that means we learn about the rationalization of the denominator rationalization of the denominator what we do we multiply this with root 5 as well as we divide with root 5 that means if we have to rationalize the denominator such type of equations we have already learned or already we have solved this type of equation but suppose it is like this 1 upon or we can say that here it is root 2 and here it is root 3 plus root 5 now here denominator is a binomial quadratic search and if such type of a quadratic search are given and such type of a denominator are there and at that time if we have to rationalize the denominator we have to find out the conjugate pair of this search conjugate pair of this denominator now tell me what is the conjugate pair of this denominator it is very simple we just have to change the sign here we can write root 3 minus root 5 divided by root 3 minus root 5 it is very easy that means if we multiply the conjugate pair or the product of the two conjugate pair of a binomial quadratic set is a rational number by using that property we can rationalize the denominator in such type of equations. Now everyone understood about what is binomial quadratic sets. Bi means two, quadratic means order two and it is the sets. They are joined with plus or minus sign. Then we can find out the conjugate pair of each other and these conjugate pair of each other are called as a rationalized factors of each other. These are called as a rationalizing factor of each other. Because if we multiply these two, then we will get the answer as a rational number. Therefore, conjugate pair of binomial quadratic sets are called as a rationalizing factor of each other. Now, based upon this, we have to start with practice set 2.4. Dear student, uh, on page number 31, the binomial quadratic sets information is given that you have to learn uh, that you have to learn and after that on page number 32 rationalization of the denominator is given that also you have to learn now dear student we have to start with practice set 2.4 which is based upon the binomial quadratic search We have to start with practice set 2.4. See, the first question is there. Question number first. In that, we have to do the multiplication. That is multiply. This is the basic of question number second that we have how to do the multiplication that we have to learn in this question now see here uh, root 3 multiply with root 7 minus root 3 simple multiplication process is there we have to multiply this bracket with this root 3 when we have to multiply with bracket then we have to multiply with each and every term of that bracket that means this root 3 we have to multiply with this 7 as well as multiply with this root 3. Therefore we can write here root 3 into root 7 this minus sign root 3 into root 3. Now dear student see here it is root 7 is there sorry root 3 into root 7 then root 3 into root 3. Can we multiply this? Yes. Without no need of factorization because root 3, root 7 are the prime factors. Therefore, we can write here root 3 into root 7 order of both the side is the same. 
and dear student you know that root 3 into root 3 it will be a 3 therefore root 27 minus 3 is the final answer any doubt i think no doubt will be there root 3 into root 7 it is simple root 37 and root 3 into root 3 it is 3 therefore root 21 minus 3 let's see the second sum in that the second one root 5 minus root 7 into root 2 see same thing is there we have to multiply this root 2 with this bracket directly we can write root 2 into root 5 minus root 2 into root 7 now dear student root 2 into root 5 it is root 10 minus root 2 into root 7 it is root 14 therefore root 10 minus root 14 this is the final product here it is root 10 minus root 7 this is the uh, product now see the third one see here the third question is there now for this you have to be more careful this is the multiplication of two brackets multiplication of two brackets are given 3 root 2 minus root 3 into 4 root 3 minus root 2 here what we have to do here this first term of the first bracket that is 3 root 2 is multiplied with whole this bracket that is 4 root 3 minus root 2 then by this minus root 3 we have to multiply 4 root 3 minus root 2 see here here binomial quadratic sets these are binomial quadratic sets we have to multiply these two brackets therefore 3 root 2 multiplied with this whole bracket same way minus root 3 we have to multiply with 4 root 2 minus root 2 now see do the multiplication it is 3 root 2 into 4 root 2 4 root 3 this is multiplication of this then minus this is minus sign therefore we write here minus 3 root 2 into root 2. then multiplication of these two is or now this minus root 3 into 4 root 3 and here minus root 3 into minus root 2 this multiplication we have to do first of all this with this then minus 3 root 2 into root 2 then multiply minus root 3 with 4 root 3 and minus root 3 with minus root 2 now do the multiplication here it is 3 and here it is 4 therefore 3 into 4 root 2 into root 3 root 2 into root 3 minus 3 into 1 3 into 1 into root 2 into root 2 same thing minus 1 into 4 root 3 into root 3 and here it is minus root 3 into minus root do the multiplication 3 to the 3 for the 12 and here it is root 2 into root 3 these are these are the like sets but it's sorry here it is order is same order is same therefore we can 3 to the 6 minus 3 1 the 3 and dear student again root 2 into root 2 it is 2 minus 
फोर इंटू वन फोर इंटू रूट थ्री इंटू रूट थ्री अगेन इट इज थ्री एंड डेयर स्टूडेंट माइनस रूट थ्री इंटू माइनस रूट टू इट इज प्लस एंड रूट थ्री इंटू रूट टू इट इज रूट सिक्स नौ सी एर ट्वेल्व रूट सिक्स माइनस थ्री इंटू टू इट इज माइनस सिक्स माइनस ट्वेल्व प्लस रूट सिक्स डेयर स्टूडेंट सी एर ट्वेल्व रूट सिक्स प्लस रूट सिक्स माइनस सिक्स एंड माइनस थ्री देर पर इट इज ट्वेल्व एंड दिस इज वन देर पर थर्टीन रूट सिक्स माइनस एटीन स्टूडेंट सिक्स साइन आर सेम डू द मल्टी डू द एडिशन एंड साइन इज माइनस हियर इट इज ट्वेल्व एंड हियर इट इज वन ट्वेल्व प्लस वन इट इज थर्टीन रूट सिक्स देर पर वी कंप्लीटेड द first question <coughs> go through this again and try to understand it is very easy now we have to start with the second question dear student let's start with the second question it is rationalize the denominator we have to rationalize the denominator for that purpose see the first question is given it is <coughs> वन अपॉन रूट सेवन प्लस रूट टू नौ सी दिस सम इज गिवन एंड वी हैव टू डू द रैशनलाइजेशन ऑफ द डिनोमिनेटर रैशनलाइज द डिनोमिनेटर इन एग्जाम टू और थ्री मार्क्स क्वेश्चन इज बेस्ड अपॉन दिस देर फोर डू द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ दिस जस्ट वी हैव टू डू द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन Now see here one upon root seven plus root two. Now in pre practice set two point three we solve like this. That is rationalize the denominator. In this denominator is a set, but in this case the denominator is a binomial quadratic set. For that purpose, what we have to do? We have to do the find out the conjugate pair of this, and by that conjugate pair we have to multiply. And divide. Therefore, we can write here one upon root seven plus root two is equal to, or we can write here uh, we write here one upon root seven plus root two multiply with root seven minus root two, and here it is divide by root seven minus root. Two. Now see here, we find out the conjugate pair of this. It is minus, and by that conjugate pair we have to multiply and divide. Now see here, one into root seven minus root two, and I have already explained you. Here we can root seven plus root two into root seven minus root two. Here we have to apply expansion formula, as I have already explained you about a square minus b square. <coughs> This multiplied with a there one, therefore it is as it is root seven minus root two, and here a plus b, a minus b. That means we have to write a square minus b square. That is square of root seven minus square of root two. Now all of you know that root seven minus root two as it is, and here it is root seven minus this two. Therefore, we can write here final answer root seven minus root two upon seven minus two is equal to five. Now denominator is a rational number. Very simple, very easy. Just we have to find out the conjugate pair and multiply and divide. We we'll get the answer, and that will be the rationalization of the denominator. Now let's see the next sum. What is that? It is <coughs> second one. It is three upon two root five. Minus three root two. 
Dear students, we have to rationalize this. In this case, see, 3 upon 2 root 5 minus 3 root 2. We have to rationalize the denominator. Again, we have to see the denominator. It is binomial quadratic sum. We have to find out conjugate pair. It is not difficult to find out the conjugate pair. We know we have to just change the sign. Therefore, we can write here 3 upon 2 root 5 minus 3 root 2 multiplied with with c here 2 root 5 plus 3 root 2 here 2 root 5 plus 3 root 2 now we have to do the multiplication now c here very easy numerator with numerator denominator with denominator that means 3 into 2 root 5 plus 3 root 2 is multiplied with 2 root 5 minus 3 root 2 multiply 2 root 5 plus 3 root 2. Dear student, no need to do the multiplication of numerator, leave as it is. It is 3 into 2 root 5 plus 3 root 2. Question is that we have to rationalize the denominator. We have to concentrate on a denominator. No need to do the multiplication. Leave as it is. Now see again here. 2 root 5. It is 2 root 5. 3 root 2. 3 root 2. Sin plus and minus. We have to use the expansion formula for a square minus b square. Now see here. A means 2 root 5 bracket square minus 3 root 2 bracket square. Now dear student, see here 3 into 2 root 5 plus 3 root 2 and here 2 root 5 bracket square. Now we have to do the square of these two. See in this case if you write like this 2 root 5 brackets without using the bracket if you write this then it will be a wrong. We have to do the square of this 2 also square of this 5 so therefore the 2 root 5 bracket square it is the right way to writing got it therefore it is 2 root 5 bracket square here also 3 root 2 bracket square remember this if you write like this then it will be a wrong now see here we have to do the square of this it is 4 into square of root 5 it is 5 minus square of this 3 is a 9 and square root square of square root 2 it is 2 therefore dear student 3 into 2 root 5 plus 3 root 2 as it is then do the multiplication 4 5 is a 20 minus 9 to the 18 therefore 3 into 2 root 5 plus 3 root 2 divided by 19 minus 18 it is 2 the denominator is a rational number <coughs> see in this case this step is important you have to make the bracket here if you don't write bracket then it will be wrong then you will lose your marks now try to solve this and we have to start with the next sum that is third one let's see the third and the fourth sum here it is 4 upon 7 plus 4 root 3 here dear student again we have to multiply with its conjugate pair and divide with this conjugate pair therefore 7 plus 4 root 3 into what is the conjugate pair of this? It is 7 minus 4 root 3 upon 7 minus 4 root 3. Now we have to do the multiplication of numerator with numerator, denominator with denominator. 
therefore 4 into 7 minus 4 root 3 and here 7 plus 4 root 3 into 7 minus 4 root 3. Now see again here 4 upon into 7 minus 4 root 3 as it is. Now see here a plus b a minus b. What we have to do? a square minus b square. What is a? It is 7 minus 4 root 3 bracket square. Just I have told you that you have to make the bracket here. If you don't write it in a bracket, the meaning will get changed. You will lose your marks. Therefore, see, be careful now. It is 4 into 7 minus 4 root 3. Live as it is. Now, here, square of 7, it is 49. Minus square of 4 is 16 into square of root 3. It is 3. Now, see here, 4 into 7 minus 4 root 3 upon 49 minus 16 3 is a 48 and dear student we get their final answer as a 4 root 7 minus root 3 4 into 7 minus 4 root 3 upon 1 this is the final answer we rationalize the denominator and here it is 1. Therefore, we get 4 into 7 minus 4 root 3. <coughs> Let's start with the fourth sum. 5 minus root 3 upon root 5 minus root 3 upon root 5 plus root 3. Now, see here root 5 minus root 3 divided by root 5 plus root 3 into we have to multiply with conjugate pair. What is the conjugate pair of this? It is root 5 minus root 3 divided by root 5 minus root 3. I think everyone understood this. We have to change only the sign. Plus sign is there. We have to make the minus sign and multiply and divide by that number. Now we have to do the multiplication of numerator with numerator and denominator with denominator root 5 minus root 3 into root 5 minus root 3 and here it is root 5 plus root 3 into root 5 minus root 3 dear student at the numerator place if we observe this root 5 minus root 3 and here it is root 5 minus root 3. That means it is root 5 minus root 3 bracket square. Now see the here. I think everyone understood this. These brackets are same therefore we are taking the square. Now see here. Here also root 5 plus root 3. That means a plus b. And here it is a minus b. We have to use a square minus b square for Therefore, we can write here root 5 square minus root 3 square. Now, see here, we can apply a minus b bracket square formula. Now, what is that? It is a square minus twice ab plus b square. Same thing. Here it is a minus b. Here it is root 5 minus root 3. We can write the square of first. That is root 5 square minus 2 into we have to do the multiplication of this root 5 into root 3 that is a into b plus what we have to do square of b now b is root 3 bracket square and here square of root 5 it is 5 and here it is 3 isn't it now solve this Find out the square of root 5, it is 5 minus 2 
into root 5 into root 3 it is root 15 plus square of root 3 square of root 3 is a 3 and here it is 5 minus 3 it is 2 now see this 5 and this 3 are the similar terms or the like term therefore 5 plus 3 minus 2 root 15 upon 2 and here it is 5 plus 3 it is 8 minus 2 root 15 upon 2. I think everyone understood this. It is 8 minus 2 root 15 upon 2. This is the rationalization of the denominator. Dear students, let's start with the another topic that is important important one very easy and very interesting the sums based upon this absolute value are very easy very interesting you can enjoy while solving the sums now see the topic is absolute value see f if x is a real number then the absolute value of x is its distance this distance word is most important dear student here that means absolute value of x is a distance that means absolute value is related with the distance now what is what distance distance from 0 on the number line distance from 0 on number lines that means see here suppose i draw here one number line all of you know that it is 0 here i write 1 2 3 4 5 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 like this these are the numbers on a number line now see here x is a real number then the absolute value of x suppose i take x as a 3 x as a 3 and we have to find out the absolute value of these 3 now what is the absolute value of these 3 it is the distance of that number from the 0 now this is 0 and here it is 3 this is 1 this is 2 and this is 3 that means the distance of that number from 0 is a 3 therefore the absolute value of 3 is a 3. Now, here, the absolute value of x is written by using this symbol and that is read as an absolute value or it is also read as a modulus of x. Now, see, if I want to find out the absolute value of this 3, then I write it like this and it is read as a absolute value of 3 it is also read as a modulus of 3 now modulus of 3 means what it is a distance and distance of that number from the origin that means 0 it is 3 therefore it is 3 now dear students suppose i want to find out the modulus of this minus 3 and modulus of minus 3 means I have to find out the distance of this point from the 0. Now it is 1, 2 and it is 3. That means this is also 3. Here I told you that it is a distance. And dear student, in match 2, we learn how to find out the distance. And distance is a positive real number. That definition you have learned in that mathematics 2. That means it is a positive real number. That means always remember absolute value of any number is always a positive number. Therefore, if I have to find out the absolute value of this 3, it is 3. Absolute value of minus 3, it is 3 because it is a distance from 0. Got it? Therefore, suppose if I have to find out the absolute value of this x, then for this x, Three possibilities will be there. That means suppose first I write here x is greater than 0. Second condition will be a x is equal to 0. And third possibilities will be a 
x is less than 0 and if these three conditions are there then in for first condition if x is greater than 0 modulus value of x or the absolute value of x is equal to x then for 0 modulus of x that means modulus of 0 will be a 0 therefore absolute remember one thing absolute value of 0 is always 0 then it is less than 0 dear student less than 0 that means x will be a minus and minus it is x therefore remember the modulus or the absolute only value of any number is a positive number if it is x the modulus of x is a x modulus of 0 is a 0 and modulus of minus x is x the student in your notebook on page number 33 that three uh, absolute value absolute value definition is given these three conditions are given in this three condi third condition if x is less than 0 then modulus of x is minus x this is print mistake here you have to remember it is a x plus x or the positive x therefore if x is a negative then its absolute value is opposite of x that is plus x therefore remember all these things you have to write it in your notebook now see one more thing i want to tell you that uh, here I write absolute value of 3 is a 3, absolute value of minus 3 is a 3. That means, suppose I write here, I write here one number that is, suppose I write 4 and absolute value is a 4. That means, see here, I want to know what is x. We have to find out the C here. Absolute value of x is given it is 4. But it. But I want to know what is x. Here. What will be the value of x. That means. We have to find out the number. Whose absolute value is a 4. Now absolute value of 4. That means suppose. I write here 4. Then it will be a 4. If I write here minus 4, then also it is a 4. That means this x is maybe a plus 4 or it may be a minus 4. Therefore, if it is like this, absolute value of any number is a 4, then we can say that x is equal to plus or minus 4. If it is plus 4, then the answer is a absolute value is a 4. If it is minus 4, then also the absolute value is a 4. That means if any number is there and its absolute value is a 4 then there may be a possibility that it may be a it may be a plus 4 or it may be a minus 4 remember this thing we have to use that thing in your uh, to solve the sums let's start with practice set 2.5 question number first one is there find the value dear student such type of a questions ask in an exam for the one or two marks very simple very easy now say absolute value of 15 minus 2 here we have to find out the modulus of 15 minus 2 or the absolute value of 15 minus 2 for that purpose first of all we have to do the subtraction of this 15 minus 2 it will be a 13 and then we have to find out the modulus of this thing. modulus of this 3 is a plus 13 modulus of plus 13 is a 13 therefore the answer is a 13 very simple what we have to do first of all we have to do the subtraction of this 15 minus 2 it is 13 then we have to find out the modulus of that number now see here same thing is there it is modulus of 4 minus 9 first of all we have to do the 4 minus 9 it will be a minus 5 now find out the modulus of minus 5 
dear student it is fine therefore the final answer is a very simple one marks question will be asked in a exam now see here here modulus of 7 into modulus of minus 4 that means we have to find out the absolute value of 7 find out the absolute value of minus 4 and then do the multiplication here first of all we have to do the subtraction and after we have to find out the absolute value of that answer but here we have to do the find out the first absolute value now tell me the what is the absolute value of 7 yes it is correct it is 7 into what is the absolute value of minus 4 it is plus 4 therefore 7 for the 28 next student one more thing I have to find out the 7 modulus of 7 find out the opposite value of that it is minus 7 and 7 and minus 10 which one is the greater one 7 therefore the absolute value of 7 is a 7 or just you have to remember that absolute value of any number is a positive if it is minus 4 then also it is positive if it is plus 4 then it is also 4 now go through this sum and write it in your notebook we have to start with the second question that is we have to solve now see as a point of view of exam these are important sums that is the second question is an important one we have to solve question number second solve. first one is there modulus of 3x minus 5 is equal to is equal to 1 now see dear student we have to solve this that is modulus of 3x minus 5 is a 1 is a 1 now see here modulus of this is a 1 that means in this sum in this case see here I write here 1 and here I write x that means modulus of x is a 1 and we have to find out the x. This modulus of one, modulus will be 1. Of which number? If this x is plus or minus 1. That means if I write here 1. Then I will get value of modulus of 1 is a 1. And if I write minus 1. Then also I get here 1. That means modulus of plus or minus 1 if it is there then the answer is a 1 here same thing is there here 3x minus 5 is equal absolute value of 3x minus 5 is a 1 that means this value is plus or minus 1 therefore directly we can write here for getting the answer 1 here should be a plus 1 or minus 1 that means if the answer is a 1, that means this number 3x minus 5 is equal to plus or minus 1. Then and only then we will get the answer as a 1. Got it? Remember this. The absolute value of this number is a 1. That means if this value is plus 1, then we will get answer as a 1. If it is minus 1, then we get answer as a 1. Therefore, we have to assume that this 3x minus 5 is equal to plus or minus 1 therefore 3x minus 5 is equal to 1 or we can say that 3x minus 5 is equal to minus 1 now we have to solve this therefore we have to 3x is equal to this minus 5 goes on that side it become plus 5 or we can say that 3x is equal to minus 1 this plus 5 both we have to solve simultaneously therefore 3x is equal to 6 or we can write here 3x is equal to 4 now dear student x is equal to 6 upon 3 or we say that x is equal to 4 upon 3 therefore x is equal to simplify this 3 to the 6 or we say that 
x is equal to 4 upon 3 then for the we get the values of x is equal to 2 or x is equal to 4 upon 3 if we substitute here we get here plus 1 then absolute value of plus 1 is 1 if we substitute we get minus 1 and then we get the value absolute value of 1 is a minus 1 is a 1 therefore what is the important thing we have to assume this is equal to plus or minus 1 same thing in a second sum now see the second one in this absolute value of 7 minus 2x is equal to 5 absolute value of 7 minus 2x is equal to 5 and we have to find out the value of x now dear students same answer is a 5 when absolute value will be a 5 absolute value of 5 is of minus 5 or plus 5 therefore we can write here 7 minus 2x is equal to plus or minus 5 now therefore 7 minus 2x is equal to plus 5 or we can say that 7 minus 2x is equal to minus 5 therefore 7 minus sorry here minus 2x is equal to 5 and this plus 7 will become minus 7 or minus 2x is equal to minus 5 and this plus 7 will become minus 7. Now see here minus 2x is equal to 5 minus 7 it is minus 2 or minus 2x is equal to minus 12. We have to do the addition. Now see here multiply with minus 2 sorry multiply with minus 1 this minus 2x will become plus 2x minus 2 become plus 2 or here it is 2x is equal to 12. Same thing we multiply with minus 1 on both sides we multiply with minus 1 on both sides when we multiply with minus 1 only the sign will get changed. Now see here x is equal to 2 upon 2 or x is equal to 12 upon 2 therefore we get here x is equal to 1 or x is equal to 6 this is our final answer go through this sum these are very important important one now start with the third and the fourth one See the question number third one. Modulus of 8 minus x upon 2 is equal to 5. And the fourth one is there. It is 5 plus x upon 4 is equal to 5. Now see, we have to solve this. Same thing. Absolute value of this 5. That means this number is maybe a plus 5 or minus 5 therefore directly we write 8 minus x upon 2 is equal to plus or minus 5 now see here 8 minus x upon 2 is equal to 5 means 5 upon 1 that will be easy to solve for that or we can say that 8 minus x upon 2 is equal to minus 5 upon 1 for solving this, do the cross multiplication. Multiply this with 1, it will be 8 minus x is equal to 2 phi za 10. Or 8 minus x is equal to minus 10. See here, minus x is equal to 10. This plus 8 goes on there, minus 8. Or minus x is equal to minus 10 and this plus z goes on that side minus 8. Now dear student minus x is equal to 2 or minus x is equal to minus 18. Minus 10 minus 8 minus 18 
now multiply with minus 1 on both sides we get here x is equal to minus 2 or x is equal to 18 therefore x is equal to minus 2 and here it is x is equal to plus 18 these are the values of x see the next one here same thing 5 plus x upon 4 absolute value of 5 plus x upon 4 is equal to 5 that means this number may be a 5 or minus 5 therefore we can write here 5 upon 1 plus x upon 4 is equal to plus or minus 5 therefore 5 upon 1 plus x upon 4 is equal to plus 5 or 5 upon 1 plus x upon 4 is equal to minus 5 upon 1. Now see here we can solve this for that purpose. See here what we have to do. We have to multiply by 4 on both sides. Put it. Here also we have to multiply by 4 on this side then this 4 is get eliminated. Therefore it is 20 plus x is equal to 20. Put it. Then or here also we have to multiply with 4 because we have to eliminate this. Here it is we can write. 4 5 is a 20 plus x is equal to minus 20. Now simplify this x is equal to 20. This 20 goes on that side minus 20 or x is equal to minus 20. This plus 20 become minus 20. Therefore we get x is equal to 0 or x is equal to minus 40. I think everyone understood this step. Here we have to eliminate this 4. Then it will be easy to solve. For that purpose we multiply by 4 on both sides. Here also we multiply with 4 on both sides. This 5 multiply with 4 20. This x upon 4 is multiply with 4. Then this 4, 4 get cancelled, it is x. Then 5 multiply with 4, it is 20. Same thing. 5 multiply with 4, 20. 5, uh, this 4 multiply with x upon 4, 4, 4 get cancelled, it is x. And this minus 5 multiplied with 4, then it is minus 20. Then x is equal to this 20. 20 minus 20, it is 0. 20 plus x is equal to minus 20 then it is x is equal to minus 20 and this minus 20 therefore we get the value x is equal to minus 40 therefore dear student we get here x is equal to 20 and x is equal to minus 40 it is the final answer dear student in this case most important thing is you have to assume that this is equal to plus or minus 5 this is equal to plus or minus 5 this is the most important step Dear student, here we completed the practice set 2.4 and 2.5 that means uh, the chapter second is completed, problem set is remaining. In next video we start with problem set. Dear student, some questions related with this topic are in a problem set. Try to solve this. Thank you.